We're going to start with the tough news, and that is the one death we've talked about linked to yesterday's storms. A North Texas woman whose body was found in a vehicle that ended up washing away ended up under a bridge in Mesquite. And family members told our Andrea Lucia, as you can imagine, they are struggling to just understand how everything happened. If not for the debris still tangled in trees and fences, there would be no sign of the flood here just yesterday. Jolene Gerald was one of dozens of drivers caught in it. The Dallas grandmother, with a tight-knit group of friends, spent more than a decade driving a forklift. These days, her family says she was driving for Uber and Lyft. Her husband, Kirk, told me she called him yesterday. And according to her son, she was still debating whether to work with all the rain or just to head home. Jolene told her family she was stopped on the Sign Road Bridge, where other drivers yesterday told us they were stuck in traffic when the area suddenly started to flood. Water started coming into Jolene's car, and the last thing her family says she told them was that it felt like someone was pushing her car hard. The line disconnected, and when her family showed up to help, they couldn't find her. It was hours later, once the water had gone down, her husband spotted the wheels of her submerged car, and firefighters were able to confirm she was inside. Her youngest son, Jason, wrote me she was the best mom and grandmother anyone can ask for. She was the glue and backbone of the family and didn't deserve this. It's mind-blowing, he wrote. Everyone got saved except my mom. In Mesquite, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.